With camera in hand, I travel the land, filming the Rockies. During this episode, I'll be joining three different llama outfitters and traveling over 3,000 miles. It's time for Llamas at Latitudes. My first trek will be with Scott Woodruff, proprietor of the Lander Llama Company. We will be trekking into the Paposia region of the Wind River Range in Wyoming, topping out at 11,000 feet at 43 degrees north, hooking lake trout, and taking a quick dip in an alpine lake. My film school buddy Ben will be joining us on our Wyoming outing and demonstrating the protocol for llama tipping. Then at 48 degrees north, I'll be meeting up with Steve at the Great Northern Llama Company to learn about the difference between alpacas and llamas. With over a hundred of our woolly friends on his ranch and the wild Montana sky backdrop, you'll be pondering if an alpaca might make the perfect addition to your yard. Leaping onward beyond the Rockies, I'll be joining Dan to Llama Trek, Alaska. Once in the great frontier, we'll be venturing beyond the trails in to a crystal clear mountain lake, just 30 degrees below the North Pole. Now, through the power of digital celluloid, it's Filming the Rockies time. We're getting ready to llama trek the Wind River Range. But before we head out, let's introduce the llamas. Hi, this uh, this here is Coots, Coots and Dika. Uh, he's one of our studs, and the llamas are all different, and they have different personalities, but he's a little high strung, and, and that's why we breed him. This one here is America, and he's a little bit more timid. He's from the, a different uh, uh, bloodline, and uh, they're all good packers, but he's a little bit more timid. They're all different personalities. Popular llama legend states that the camel species was spawned right here in the Rocky Mountains before spreading around the world to become llamas, camels, and alpacas. So now we return to the roots of the gene, yielding our spirits to these amazing creatures so that they may help us, modern man, reconnect with the natural world. Leaving the desert floor of the Wyoming sage below us, we pass a small family of mountain goats in the foothills of the Wind River Range. As we progress higher and higher, we witness the harshness of Wyoming's blistering winters and dry summers, which have twisted the trees. Our diligent friends follow us like tall, loyal dogs as we press toward the 10,000-foot timberline. Time to answer a few common llama inquiries. First, no, you cannot ride the llama. You're too big or it's too small, but it's just not a match and you'll hurt his little back. As for llama spit, yes, they do indeed, but it's not as common as you may think and I don't have any footage of a llama spitting. My apologies. Of almost 100 mountain ranges that make up the Rocky Mountains, the Wind Rivers are possibly the most prominent range. They're almost 50 miles wide at the center and go out to flat plains on both sides. On the northern end, the Wind Rivers joins with the Absaroka Range, which extends into Montana. With a good day's hike behind us, our expert backcountry guides from the Lander Llama Company orient us to the land around our exploration base camp. This is Upper Silas Lake here, um, up to the right, kind of behind the trees there. It's called Coney Mountain. We're on the back side of it now. Behind us, that way a little bit, is Tomahawk Lake. We'll probably fish that a little bit. Up above us is another little lake. And then really beyond this lake, it's just a series of lakes. And it just gets alpine and really outstanding country beyond here. 
From our centralized base camp, we will spend the next three days clambering to the top of nearby peaks, fishing and swimming, and of course, filming llamas. With the Big Agnes Parkview tent pitched away from the Tender Lake shore, I'll be bedding down early, resting up for tomorrow's ascent of Coney Mountain. The Lander Llamas are also settling down for their evening rest to a mountain fiddle lullaby. Llama. And there's a bend. And I'm going to push the llama in. Tips over when it's asleep. Oh, wrist it's got llama tipping.